All right, we're in the Niner locker room with John Feliciano, and you got the call. You played a little left guard for Banks, mm -hmm. and you graded out really well. Um, how'd you feel? How'd you feel about when you looked at the film? It was good. Um, it's always great to play next to Trent Williams. That helps. Uh, and, uh, yeah, just went out there and did my job. You've been doing this a while. What, what spot do you feel most comfortable in those three that in the interior there? Either. Uh, I'm good. It don't really phase me much to switch sides or play center. Whatever the team needs me to do, I'll do. I'm a big Hurricane fan, so uh, yeah, and, I'm, I'm, and I'm also an A&M fan, so it hurt me a couple weeks ago watching your Hurricanes beat my beat my Aggies. But I, you know, it was, I was torn there. Mm -hmm. um, your story is really incredible story. Um, it's almost like a story of perseverance. I mean, and how much how much do you lean on on your kind of your path yeah. um, as? You know, being homeless and staying yeah. at friends' houses and yeah. that kind of thing. I think that's the foundation of uh, you know why switching positions don't really phase me or yeah. you know, the bright lights or whatever coming in in the second half haven't played you know all season. Uh, it doesn't really phase me. I think uh, it was a blessing and a curse growing up the way I did, um, and the more I can make it a blessing, the better. Yeah, I mean, do you dwell on, on, or did you use that as strength to kind of guide you throughout your NFL career? Um, you know, growing up, I was unaware that that wasn't the norm. Um, you know, uh, <laughs> social media. Don't listen to Colton. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> social media wasn't a prevalent thing growing up. Um, I didn't really see how other people were living. Um, so, you know, me and my friends, you know, mainly came from the same kind of situation um and yeah it's just, just use it when you can and and don't let it bring you down hoops were you a hoop fan you're a hoop Definitely. player as yeah, a basketball in, in basketball, yeah. yeah so i mean you don't necessarily have the hoop build but I mean, what was your position uh, and how's, you, how's the center you, yeah. were you shack down low or no nah, you know yeah i was setting <laughs> a lot of picks and doing my job, popping and doing little shots. Uh, I feel like I got a lot better after high school playing basketball. Now, you're a big video game guy, mm -hmm. too. What was your game growing up? Uh, Call of Duty. Um, more recently, Fortnite Smite. Starting to play a little Rocket League now. Um, Elden Ring. I'm playing Lies of Pete right now, which is a pretty good game. Uh, yeah. Why? Whatever, whatever you can do to... To pass the time. Yeah. What? Uh, why are all linemen the best interviews on the team? <laughs> they were the most normal people. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, you just eat, eat whatever you want, do whatever you want, lift, yeah, right? Exactly. Yeah. We're, we're your typical dad from like the, the 80s or 90s. <laughs> How'd you wind up here? How, what, what brought you here in the off season? Just, uh, I mean, the team, really. Uh, I'm getting up there in age and got a... You know, hopefully three, four more years left in me and uh, trying to win one. So you, you look around the league and you look at rosters and once the Niners can call and uh, it was almost a done deal. Yeah, I, I get that vibe around you that you're all about the ring right now. Yeah, yeah. Why is that? I mean, cause is, you guys play for money, mm -hmm. but you've made a lot of money. You've played a lot in this, mm -hmm. in this league, but you don't have that ring. Mm -hmm. What would the ring mean to you to have that? Have that? Yeah, I mean, my whole football career, I haven't, I haven't won anything. Um, so that means a lot to me. Talk about your stops. Raiders, mm -hmm. Buffalo. Mm -hmm. uh, what was your – what's one other stop in there? Uh, Giants last Giants year. Giants last yeah. year um, in here. Better to live on the the West Coast or the East Coast? Uh, what, uh, how, how's it different, I guess? How are the different organizations different? Um, yeah, I mean, my last couple stops have been great. Uh, great organizations. Uh, I was with um, – coaches and teammates that I've been with for a few years and it was great just growing that, that relationship with them and uh, I mean I'm definitely an East Coast guy uh, but it's not too bad over here. Yeah you got you got to be digging our weather though. Yeah 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 uh, that's the one one of the great things of you know when I remember playing for Oakland and coming back here is just the weather. All right, the giant game, Trent, right before half, gets into it. Somebody <laughs> threw a blow, then he throws a blow. Mm -hmm. uh, it seemed like you were, you got in there, and I don't know if you were the peacemaker or anything, but what was your role in the in the, in the the situation? Yeah, it seemed I mean, like you – you know those guys, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. Well, so, I mean, we knew him and, and Trent and Aishan had some beef, really. That's Aishan. right, going back to the Rams yeah, Niners. Yeah, yeah. so uh, 
we'd need the ball and I put my helmet on to start running into the locker room and you know you see the commotion so I was you know I'm not one to shy away from the fight so yeah I wanted to go just check check make sure everything was all right uh, would you consider yourself almost a brawler at this point <laughs> yeah I do what I can <laughs> do what you can mm. um Parsons talked a big game Debo talked mm -hmm. back to him um uh, you guys really silenced him I mean mm -hmm. Parsons was a non-factor what did you think of the cowboy front did you expect did they give you guys what you expected to see yeah, I mean, uh, I played them twice last year. Yeah. Um, so I'm familiar with them. Um, I think it was just a testament to our locker room and uh, all three phases coming together and playing well. Give me your thoughts on Jake. I mean, he's, he was a Pro Bowl alternate, mm -hmm. but you probably have more knowledge and more experience at that spot than he does. Do you uh, share that with him? Is there anything that you can share with him to help him make uh, him better? He's been working with me a lot this year, especially with his offense. Um, oh, to help you learn. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot going on here. And uh, he's been a great guy to be around, and, and we bounce stuff off each other. And he's looking at me right now and <laughs> trying to stay focused. <laughs> no, he's been, it's been great. How about the, the, the young guards? I mean, you got two of the best young guards in the mm -hmm. league here, in Banks and yeah. Burford. How have you been able to either learn from them or help mm -hmm. them? You probably help them more than yeah, learn from yeah, them. Yeah, I definitely you know, pull Banks aside or, or Spencer whenever I can. Whenever I see them, whenever I can help them, I will, and I do. And uh, it's been fun. And it goes quick. You blink your eye, and you're in year nine, and it's almost done. So. Being around Trent, too, has uh, really uh, showed me how to stay healthy and stay ready when you get enough in that age. What is the key to longevity in the NFL, um, in your mind? I mean, a lot of recovery. Yeah. Sleep, definitely. Um, I mean, like I, I've bought a lot of recovery stuff, like Normatex, Game Ready, Compex, BFR. Like, all that stuff is, uh, is what keeps you young what about do you do as much lifting in season that you do in the off season as you get older yeah, I actually or started what's... squatting again since i saw trent squat in the in OTA or probably mandatory mini camp so i'm put a bar in his back and i was like ah, if trent's doing that I, I don't really have an excuse not to yeah mm -hmm. what makes trent trent as far as as a player i mean that size the strength mm -hmm. the speed beyond that though yeah, what, what makes him the player that he is I, you know I, i've been with him for the first year, you know, you always hear Trent Williams and you always you watch him on film and he's doing incredible things. And then you get in the room with him and, and you hear him talk about his game plan versus a DN or what he thinks about the defense we're going against. And you realize that it's not just his athletic ability, it's his mind as well. Two last questions before we let you go. Um, this locker room. How you've been in different organizations? We've already kind of hit on that, but what's the vibe in here? I mean, you you'd be a great guy to ask because you have perspective on being in other rooms mm -hmm. with other teams. Mm -hmm. What's stands out to you about this team as, a, as you guys try to pursue that Super Bowl? Yeah, you know, sometimes with a, a team like this, that they have their core players and a lot of these guys have been around here a lot. It's uh, sometimes it's hard to come in and be a new guy and, and find your, find your role, find your find your place um, but they've done a great job <laughs> in bringing guys that, that come in and really like, putting their arm around them and, and making them feel like a part of the team not a just a guy that just got here yeah and last one you probably already checked out the browns they got miles mm -hmm. garrett but it's more than miles garrett mm -hmm. talk, talk about what you see when you watch them on film their d-line yeah i mean i'm pretty familiar with a lot of those guys um shelby harris and mo Harris and um thomason and, and the other buddy from the Jordan Elliott from the or uh, Vikings, um, uh, Long Dreads, ninety nine. Yeah, Zadarius Smith. Smith, Smith. Yeah. So you know, I've played against most of them a lot. Um, so we know that they're hard nosed guys, and they're come firing off the ball, and they have a really, I mean, statistically a really good defense. So it's gonna be a good challenge for us. Better D line than the, than what you saw last week, or I mean, you guys kind of different. Yeah. How you are know, they different? The Cowboys are more speed, lateral speed yeah. guys. Uh, and I feel like the Browns are more tips, like more like our guys that can really come off the ball and fire out and cause trouble like that. Man, appreciate your time. Yep. You were with the Raiders, now you're back. Mm -hmm. Was there anything that you missed about the Bay that you said, man, I want to get back there for that? Is there 
What, what did you? Uh, do you have any any spots that you used to hit when you were a Raider that you're like back now and you're like, yeah, yeah man. Bill's Cafe. Okay, that's one, that's one of the top things to me and my wife every. Uh, Every off day, we would go get breakfast there, and nice. that, that's continued now. Where's that? At? Where's that place at? There's a whole bunch of them. Um, I couldn't tell you. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man. Welcome to welcome back to the Bay. Uh, congrats on a great night the other night, and uh, good luck this year. Hopefully, you get that ring. I'd love Appreciate to see it. it. Thank you, John Feliciano. Appreciate you, John, man.